and taking our next call going into the second hour pretty well. God bless. You're on the air. Praise the Lord, Pastor Bogle. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Um, I really, uh, I need you to pray for me and my brother and my entire family because they the destroyed a generational curse of alcohol and drug abuse. And I want to pray for, like he was saying, complete restoration in my spiritual life and in my finances because of, as we know, substance abuse squanders cause you to squander the blessings that God has given us. That my mind will stay and my heart will stay fixed on Jesus without wavering and being double-minded. God will heal me mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Because I know God has led me to be um, um, something like a Joseph of our family. I have been injured so many times in church or whatever, but that's no excuse. But I want total restoration in my life and my spiritual life. And I also want to pray for my neighbor that um, God would deliver her. And all those who are battling substance abuse issues in this hour. It's a wonderful call. And what age are you at, daughter of the Lord? I am at age 59. Okay. Going up a ways, it gets a little bit more challenging when you get another 10, 20 years on you. So may God bless you at this moment. I'm going Thank to you. really pray. Thank you. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would be with your daughter that has come this far. And I ask that she could be closer to thee in every bit of her journey. And God, I ask that you would minister to all that's in her heart that wants to see family and others brought on into a blessed ability to be more than what we are. Give us a new chapter in our time of living. Give us a new chapter in our time, I pray. Help us, dear God, to go further than where we are. Minister to each of us. Lead us, guide us and direct us. Grant it, Lord, and we shall thank Thee that You have already declared that if we draw near to You, You'll come closer to us. Bless us, dear God, I pray. Minister to each of us, dear God, I pray. And I will thank you, Lord. There is somebody that sent me a little note. And um, I thank God for those who are listeners. But this one said this. Said, Dear Pastor Bogle, praise God. Pray for all us sinners. Thank you. And I would like somebody that was serving God but drifted away. But God loves you. And I would be so happy if a backslider could call because Jesus said he leaves a wonderful sheep and goes, finds the one that used to be close, that has strayed away, and brings that one back to the fold. God truly is love. And so I thank God. And there is people that were serving God even as a preacher and then drifted away. I've seen it happen where that someone that was a preacher ended up as a truck driver or something, 
but more than that, just weren't serving God anymore. May God help us and turn us away from what is something that we ought to get free from. May God minister to each of us, I pray. And uh, I want you that are close to the Lord to pray for night vision. I want night vision to be a blessed ministry. I want it to minister, and I fully understand that I'm not here by my own strength. I'm here because others have picked up the cost of hours on radio. And I want to thank all of you that have allowed me to serve God by picking up the cost of hours on radio. And uh, we're in the month of June, in the second half of it, and uh, I'm asking that we could have the need of this month met. And I'm so thankful that I was able to take care of the month of May going into the station and paying the bill. But now we look and see that it's June. But it's an interesting part at this moment because Wednesday is the first day of summer. And may God be with us in this moment. May God be with all the kids that are out of school, and may they be kept from doing what's wrong, I pray. May God minister to all of us is my prayer. Taking our next call, God bless your on the air. Good morning, Pastor Bogle. Yes. Uh, Chris from Detroit. Um, just calling for some prayer. Um, I, was, I was sitting there listening, you know, to your um, to your broadcast, and uh, you know, I walked away for a little bit myself, and you know, ever since that moment that I took that step away, I've been trying to step back, you know, with with God, because I've definitely backslidden, and it just seems like I cannot seem to get back on the same path or, or like I, I just can't get close enough to God you know here on earth um you're sure I, this call is truly encouraging me because you're a backslider right yes sir I am so thankful you don't know how much you're ministering to me to know that God can get into the thoughts of a backslider Absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, from the, the moment, you know, that I took the stop, the tiniest step away, you know, I, I, I knew it was, you know, bad, but I was trying to do good, you know, and that's really all I want to do. And, you know, I, I have this, this double-minded fight, you know, like all the time. And, you know, I, I just really want to do what's right. You know, and that's, you know, for myself and to everybody that, you know, that I know and, and love with my heart, you know, my family, my friends, you know, all of that. And um, I just want to, I, I, I just, I, I really need a blessing. I, I really, really do need a blessing from God to to not backslide. Amen. To, to stay on, you know, the, the straight and narrow, to, to, to walk with him. You and know. your call is so precious. And you speaking about something being double-minded, and uh, that is so true. We can have a, a part of the mind that's right and a part of the mind that's wrong. May God help us in such a moment. God's going to not only bless you, God's going to use you. 
you're going to be brought back in a marvelously blessed way. I want others to pray for you as well as myself, but I feel God in this moment. I really do. We'll pray. Thank you, Pastor. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask a special blessing on this one that is getting to know the truth. And your word tells us the truth will set us free. And so I ask that you would minister to this one and let his mind be blessed by thee. Take him on into the fullness of your blessing. Dear God, I pray, minister in this moment. And God, I thank you that God, you said, neither do I condemn thee, but go and sin no more. And so I'm asking that we all could be blessed to find that God is loving us each one. Continue to love us each one, I pray. Minister to us and bring us on in our journey. Blessed by you, dear God, I pray. Minister to all of us and we shall thank thee. Help us in this moment. Dear God, I pray, minister to all of us. I thank you, I truly do. And I thank God for each of us. May God minister to each of us, I pray. And uh, those of you that have known what it is, to have a negative surprise enter your life. May you get closer to God when that happens. And sometimes that negative surprise enters a um, marriage, enters a family, and we look and just see I didn't think we would be seeing this. May God help us is my prayer. In the name of Jesus.